Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to show you how to use a super powerful feature on your Morningstar MIDI controller. And that feature is toggle mode. Toggle mode allows each switch on your Morningstar MIDI controller to send different MIDI messages with each alternate press. This allows you to control your pedals and other devices in really useful and creative ways. Now before I show you how to use toggle mode, let's show you a few examples of when you will need to use toggle mode. In this first setup, we have the MC8 controlling the ever so popular HX Stomp by Line 6. The HX Stomp has a mode called Stomp Mode that displays all your effects blocks like Stomp Boxes in an effects chain. Using a MIDI controller with Toggle Mode gives you the ability to individually engage and bypass each effect block with a single switch. So when I press a switch once, it will engage an effect, and when I press the same switch again, it will bypass the effect. The same works for the other effects blocks too. To learn how to set this up on your HX Stomp and Morningstar MIDI controller, click on the video link in the description down below for a complete tutorial. The next way of using toggle mode is to use a single switch to activate two different presets. This allows you to save space on your controller and be able to toggle between two desired presets with just one switch. And in the final example, we are using toggle mode to effectively control a loop pedal. In this example, we're controlling the built-in looper on the Strymon timeline, which is actually quite a powerful looper once you have a MIDI controller to take full advantage of its capabilities. Here you can see that we have switch A set up to record and play back the loop, and switch B set up to stop and play back the loop. So, those were just a few examples of how to use toggle mode. The ways in which you can use toggle mode are potentially endless, so now let's dive in and show you how to use toggle mode on your Morningstar MIDI controller. So here we have a Morningstar MIDI controller connected to the editor. If you're not yet sure how to use the Morningstar editor, click on the video link in the description down below for a clear and detailed beginner's guide. Let's start with an empty switch. Just for this example, let's use switch C in bank 1. Just press it and it will show up on the editor. The first thing you need to do when you want to use toggle mode is make sure you click this button here and make sure that toggle mode is highlighted yellow and set to on. If you look just slightly to the right here, you will see that each MIDI message has an assigned position. Each of these positions can be assigned by you. You can decide if each of these messages will get sent in position 1 or 2, or even choose for them to be sent in both positions. What toggle mode essentially allows you to do is alternate between sending two different sets of MIDI messages each time you press a switch. If you assign a MIDI message to position 1, it will be sent when you press the switch the first time. And if you assign a message to position 2, the message will only be sent the second time you press the switch. And as you keep pressing the switch, you alternate between sending the messages in position 1 and position 2. Now, before we name the switch, let's first go on to programming the MIDI messages for this switch. Let's just choose a simple program change message with PC number 1, and we're going to leave this message in position 1, so that MIDI message 1 gets sent the first time we press the switch. For message number 2, let's also choose a press action to trigger it, but we'll select PC number 2 instead. Now, the next part is the most important part. You have to assign this message to position 2. This is so that message 2 will only be sent every second time we press the switch. Now let's go on to naming our presets. When toggle mode is enabled, you will be able to give your presets two different names. The first name, which is a short name, is the first name that will be displayed when your preset is in position 1. In this example, let's call it preset 1. The second name is the toggle name, which will be displayed after you stepped on the switch once and your preset is in position 2. For this example, let's call it preset 2. And with that, we're done, and we just need to click Save Preset. Now let's hop over to the built-in Morningstar MIDI monitor to see how the switch will perform. As you can see, when I first press the switch, program change number 1 is being sent, and the second time I press the switch, program change number 2 is being sent instead. And with each alternate press, I go between program change number 1 and program change number 2. Now bear in mind that you can do this with all types of MIDI messages, and you can even do it with multiple MIDI messages. This is just a really simple example of how you can use toggle mode for two different individual PC messages. There is so much more that you can do with toggle mode. We'll leave that to you and your creativity. We hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.